Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how you can add images and page numbers to the side margins of a document. Okay, so I want to be able to put content over on the side margins, whether they're the left or the right, just like I would on a header and a footer. And I got this idea from my friend and colleague, uh, Peter Casey, and you can check out a link to his uh, channel, his YouTube channel, down there in the description. So I've got this document, and I want to put this content on the left and right margins repeated on every page. So let's see how we can do that. I'm just going to quickly open up a uh, brand new page, new document, and to give myself a little bit of uh, multi-page content, I'll just go ahead and do a, a function for lorem. Um, let's do 50 paragraphs. 10 sentences per paragraph. So now we have a large multi-page document. Now, when you're working with headers or footers, it doesn't really matter, for the most part, what page you start on. I could just pick on any page. I'll pick on page three here. And I'm going to double click in the header area, the top margin, in order to activate the header section. And that'll also bring up my design ribbon for header and footer tools. Not that I truly need this, because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Insert. And I will choose online pictures. And I'm just going to grab a picture of a turtle. And let's see if we can find ourselves. There's a cute looking turtle. I'm going to grab this one, insert it. Now, it looks pretty large. And it goes right into the header area of the document. That's normal. I'm going to just resize that by click and drag. If I double click on this image, I will be in the Format Picture Tools. And I can change its text wrapping. But I can also use the little Smart button right here. And I'm going to choose for text wrapping in front of text. And that's going to make it easy for me to reposition this image. And you can see it's also affecting the document or the page next to me. I'll move this over into the top left. I'll size it a little bit smaller and just kind of eyeball it where I want right there in that left margin. Similarly, I can put in page numbers. I think what I'm going to do to make it easy to move those page numbers, though, is I will insert a text box. And I'm going to do a simple text box. I'm going to put this text box. It really doesn't matter where I put it. It thinks it's in the header. But as you see, as I move it through my page, all of my pages will have this because it's part of the header. And headers are repeated. So I'll just select the default text in there. I'll write the word page, space. And then on my design ribbon for header and footer tools, I'll choose page number, current position, plain number of, and now I want to have the number of pages in my document. So I'll just jump over to Document Info, Field. I'm going to move down to Num Pages. There it is, Num Pages. Just double click. So I'm on page three of seven. Now if I click on the border of this text box, it allows me to do a bunch of overall formatting like I've selected everything. So I click on the border to select everything, make my font a little bit bigger. Um, go ahead and center. While I'm clicking on the border, I can jump over to the Format for Drawing Tools, Shape Outline. I can choose No Outline to get rid of that border. I'll size it a little bit better. Rotate it so that it's um, upright. And I'm going to take this using a similar technique. I'm going to change the layout of this text box so it's in front of the text. And then just move it off into my right margin space. I'll just stick it right there. And so even though it doesn't seem like it, this picture in this text box with page number information is in the header of my document, which means it's on the header of every page. I can just double click in the main part of my document, and I can see that that icon and page number information is on every page, and it's accurate. If I zoom out a bit on here, you'll see that this information is on all of my pages. And of course, if you needed to, you could set a different first page header and footer. And of course, in Word, you can also set different alternating pages, meaning odd pages can have a different style of header than the even pages. All right, so there we go. We're taking advantage of the header space to put repeating content on the left and right margins. Take care.